Good morning guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're hydro dipping all the parts for the R1. I've got wing mirrors, I've got tank inserts, a couple of little bits and pieces. So we're going to get them all cleaned up, get them washed, degreased, and we're going to start dipping. Never done it before, thought I'd give it a go, see how it turns out. I've watched a couple of videos, it looks fairly simple. Who knows, let's see. So we've got all the parts here now for the R1. We're going to be washing these up, get these nice and clean, get it all degreased, and then we'll start dipping. Now this bit, let me come a bit closer, as you can see. That's pretty mucky, pretty grimy. So this is the casement, what encloses the sprocket, what we took off previous video to swap out. So we're gonna degrease this, sit it in the bucket for an hour or so, let it, let it get clean. While we're waiting on those parts drying, we're gonna get ourselves a bench set up so we've got somewhere to work off the floor. Let's get ready. I'm just going to throw on a pair of rubber gloves, just because <laughs> I don't want to touch all the degrease and it's not nice, horrible. Who wants inspecting first? I won't do that. No, not me, not me. <laughs> These should come pre-lubed to just slip on your hand. Like a Jorex. We're just gonna get this bucket filled up now in preparation for dipping. Fuel's pipe were taking too long, so I'm gonna fill a couple of buckets and I'll tip those in. That should be deep enough now. Yeah, I think we can work with that. I've got all my parts washed now. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna tape up the glass so we don't want no dipping on that. We're just gonna start taping it up now. I've got both wing mirrors taped up now. So all I'm gonna do is cut round the edge with a nice sharp blade just to trim off this excess. And then they'll be good to go. That's one done. And there we go. Oh, I can see a bit of glass there. I need to tape that a little bit. So this is our Hydra Dip. This is the carbon. This is how it comes on a little thin roll. And see if I can show you this. That's how thin it is, you can see straight through it. So all we're gonna do is roll a piece of this out, cut it to the appropriate length we need, and then it goes in the tank. So we've got the sheet of hydro dip here. I've taped around the edges just to keep it flat and stop it rolling up. We're just gonna stick it in the tank Right, it's been in the tank for about a minute and a half now. So all we do now is spray the activator over the top. After about 10 to 15 seconds, we dip us part. Right, 
Right, I'm going to start with this small piece, I think. It's a bit tricky to hold because I want the hydro dip all the way around it. Um, I should have glued something to the back to hold on to, to dip it in. But I don't have time now because I've just activated it. So, oh well, I'll, I'll hold it by the corner. Try my best to get as much in as possible. Now, from what I understand, we're going at a 30 degree angle. We're going slowly and that gives you the best coverage. So... Now we're just gonna move it all to the side. As you can see, that's not really worked. It looks quite good on the glove, you know. It's not done bad on there, but on the part itself, no. Let's try it again. Couple of mistakes we made there. Firstly, I used cold water. You're supposed to use warm. I should have really checked on that beforehand, but you know. Secondly, I put the film upside down. Glossy side down, I had gloss side up. So of course it won't come to stick. But we've learned now. So, you know, even the marvellous and great robber makes a mistake now and again. It's rare, but it happens. Once a year normally. So, what I've done now is, I've opted for a smaller piece, because I don't want to waste it all. I've put warm water in the tank. So we're going to throw that in, not literally, but you know what I mean. And um, we're going to try again. No. We're going to leave this for a minute. We're going to activate it and then we're going to try dip again. This time the sheet has had to deteriorate. So I'm going to move pretty quick and I'm going to try my best to get it covered. But no, I don't think we're going to be able to just... No, it's gone. It's too... No, I can't do it. We're going to have to try a new piece. Yeah, let's pull this out and get a new piece on and go. Right guys, we're going to go for round three now. I've got a fresh piece all taped up. Now, you're supposed to put it in for a minute. I'm going to put it in for about 15, maybe 20 seconds. And then I'm going to activate it because I don't want it to all fall apart again. So... I'm going to go in with activator now. As you can see just there, it's starting to deteriorate again. So let's get it in. Now it's still quite solid at the moment. It's not worked. Get it out before it falls apart. I guess it's not three times lucky. But yeah, that's it for today. I can't be bothered now. So I'm going to go eat a bit of food with some friends. I might film that, who knows. And I'll pick this back up tomorrow. We're back in the workshop today. We're going to be finishing up the hydro dipping. I've already got a couple of pieces prepped there. We've changed back to cold water. The hot water, we're dissolving it far too quickly. That wasn't working. So, gone back to cold. So, we're going to get these two pieces put in the tank. We're going to get them activated. And we're going to see if we can get some bits dipped. Let's get the first piece in. Gloss side down. Right. Just 
just pushing out the air pockets. You don't want them in. There we go. I don't know if you can see, but it's said to deteriorate straight away. I don't know why it's doing it. Maybe it's to film. You know, you're supposed to leave it in the tank for about a minute. It's been in there, what, 10 seconds? I'm now going to offer it in and try dip it. Oh no. As you can see, it's still too tough to push it in. Try it one more time just in case. No, it's not worked. The film ain't got soft enough. It, it's too hard. Right, let's pull it out. Let's get rid of it. So this is what we're working with, the carbon film. This is take number 524. Maybe this time it'll go right. So we just want to gently drop it in. Gloss side down. Get out any air. Let me get a really close up. As you can see, it's been in the tank, what, 20 seconds? It's sent a deteriorate, fall apart. That shouldn't be happening. I think it could be the film. I'm not sure, to be honest. First time trying it. So the film's been in the tank for two minutes now. A bit longer than what we should. So, as the previous attempts didn't work, I'm trying something a little bit different. I'm going to activate it now, then get it dipped. So again, we get about 20, 30 seconds to dip. As you can see, it's not working at all. It's still hard to the touch. It's not breaking. I don't understand it. We've swapped out the water. We've gone back to warm water. So, this is attempt 624. I've gone through about 25,000 meters of film. It's proven a lot harder than I thought, to be honest. We're going to start the timer now for a minute. And then we'll activate and dip. All being well. We're still too hard, it, it's not softened up. Let's leave it a little bit longer. We look ready to dip now. Let's put this piece in. Slowly does it. There we go. Give it a bit of a wash underneath. Move the film out of the way. Pull it out. Oh, that haven't really taken. No, same as before, it, it's not tucked to it for some reason. I don't know why though. Give it a bit of a wash. Just double check. Let's have a look at it. Nah, it, it's not taken again. I don't know why. Bloody hell. God, it's hard work this. Right, well, I think that's it now. I, I can't be arsed anymore. I, I've had a go. Um, maybe I'll paint the parts instead. Yeah, maybe I'll paint them. That might be an idea. Right, let's stop messing about then. Get it out of the tank, clear up.
put it all away.